Well, it looks like work is going to be delayed once again on Hitchcock Parkway in Aiken. The state project includes improvements between Silver Bluff Road and Jefferson Davis Highway. It started in April of 2021 and was supposed to be finished by the end of 2022, but it's still not finished. That I was disappointed, extremely disappointed to hear now that utility relocations had played a role when we had attempted to uh, address that on the front end before construction started. That project is also going to close Oriole Street between Hitchcock Parkway and Bluff Point Way for 30 days. They'll have detours set up now and it should should be complete by the end of the year. A very special day for Augusta prep students. Tiffany Hobbs takes us there. Well, you could call it an out of this world experience. This morning, students had the chance to speak with an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. Amateur radio on the International Space Station, or ARIS, made contact with NASA astronaut Steve Bowen while in orbit. What are the emotional or emotional Students had the chance to speak directly to Bowen and learn about his journeys as an astronaut. It was so exciting to talk to the astronauts on the ISS. Licensed amateur radio operator Daryl Young showed us just how a connection could be made with the International Space Station, which travels 17,500 miles per hour to stay in orbit. As we were talking about the ISS uh, image, and that was also controlling a rotor that's pointing the antenna that we'll look at here in a minute. There's no better feeling than seeing the excitement on kids' faces and doing this. A new science and engineering building with state-of-the-art facilities is on its way on Augusta Prep's campus, and teachers at the school say Thursday's event is the perfect way to launch the new space, and the work doesn't stop there. We have some of our middle schoolers working with Growing Beyond Earth program, where students get to part partner with NASA and do real research on growing food in space. And um, beyond that, we're working with a team of students in middle upper school to um, design and hopefully launch a CubeSat, which is a small research satellite. ARIS Educational Ambassador Martha Muir says there are a number of ARIS contacts happening across Georgia. Here's a way to say, hey, we want you. This is something you can do. It's fun, it's good, and you have a good life. A former school teacher herself, Muir tells us she will always make time to bring experiences like this to kids. That's something that they're not going to forget. So I, I love the smiles. I got this, and I was talking to astronauts after this badge. You're going to hold on to that for a long time? I'm going to hold on to it until I'm a grown up. Augusta Prep's new STEM building is scheduled to be completed by the end of the year, and little Kemp tells me he wants to build spacecrafts when he's a grown-up. Back to you, Brad. All right, Tiffany, thanks.